For this problem, we're going to consider the reaction of four moles of aluminum uh, reacting with three moles of oxygen gas forming two moles of aluminum oxide. It takes two liters of pure oxygen at standard temperature room pressure, STP, to react with the aluminum present in the reaction. What mass of aluminum was used in the reaction to begin with? So let's just do a reminder of what STP means. So STP means a temperature of 273 kelvins, a pressure of one atmosphere, and if you remember, again, we said this in class, but you may not remember. If you remember, if you have one mole of gas at st standard temperature and pressure, the volume of that mole is going to be 22.42 liters. You may remember these two. You may not remember this one, but we're going to actually solve the problem in two different ways. Um, so that you can see two possibilities of doing it. If you don't remember one, you may remember the other. All right, let's start with the two uh, liters of pure oxygen right here. Because that's what they tell us, that, that reacts with all the aluminum. So two liters of oxygen gas. Now, I know that... Uh, 22.42 liters of oxygen is one mole of oxygen. So I'm going to actually use the volume on this one. So understand their temperature and pressure. I know that one mole will actually have a volume of 22.42. So I'm going to use it right here. All right, let's go to the equation. Three moles of oxygen gas are going to react with four moles of aluminum. So I can go from moles of oxygen to moles of aluminum. Three moles of O2 reacting with four moles of aluminum. Almost there. Now I need the molecular weight of aluminum. And if you go to the periodic table, you'll find that it is 26.98 grams of aluminum. All right, out of habit. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, liters, moles cancel of oxygen, moles of aluminum cancel, and I am left with 3.21 grams of aluminum. Okay, this is the first way that you could solve this problem and it's based on whether you remember that a mole of gas under standard temperature and pressure will actually occupy 22.42 liters. If you don't remember that, then let's use the ideal gas equation. So this is uh, way number one. Let's do way number two. Okay, PV equals NRT, and we're looking for the number of moles. So we're looking for N, so I'm going to go ahead and solve the equation for N. All right, I'm going to find the moles of oxygen, so I'm going to put here a little oxygen. Plug the numbers in. So under STP, STP pressure is one atmosphere. They give us two liters of pure oxygen, so we're going to plug the two liters of O2 here. The gas constant, 0 0.08206. Ooh, liters, atmospheres, mole times Kelvin. And the temperature, STP temperature, 273 kelvins. Atmosphere cancels, Kelvin cancels, liters cancel. So that gives me the, the moles, which are 0 0.0893 moles of O2. Well, great, we're almost there. 
Now I have the moles of oxygen and I have my equation. I need the conversion factor. So I'm going to go ahead, slide this a little bit higher. 0.0893 moles of oxygen. From the equation, we know that 3 moles of oxygen react with 4 moles of aluminum. And the aluminum, 1 mole is 26.98. Put all that in your calculator. And it gives you the exact same number. So two different ways of doing the exact same calculation. One, we actually use the the ideal gas equation, solve for the moles of oxygen that are included in to are con, uh, contained in these two liters, and then convert to grams of aluminum. The first way was because we remembered that at STP the volume is 22.42. So two ways depending on what you remember.